Top Media TV. What's up with y'all, man? So, as y'all know, Big Meech has been released from prison, man. And, you know, a lot of people are saying that Big Meech is pretty much a snitch who got out of fair time because, you know, he had snitched on somebody. So, they gave him an early release. Now, WAC 100 also said had those suspicions initially because he believed, you know, somebody like Big Meech should never be released until he serves all his time. Now, the dude whose name is Cuffy, who is also the co-defendant of Big Meech, actually, you know, breaks his silence from the federal prison and explains how Big Meech and a female was conspiring against him and pretty much was trying to get him a lot of time in prison. And he explains how Big Meech had cooperated against him. Also, another female had cooperated against him, the same female who sold the BMF story to 50 Cent to do the movie. And pretty much his name is Cuffy. And he pretty much, you know, exposes Big Meech as Big Meech is released. Speaks on, you know, how everything went down and why he believes that Big Meech definitely had cooperated in some kind of way against him. Rewarded what's called a Frank hearing. It's based on a case called U.S. versus Frank. So I would implore your listeners to look the case up. And what that what what what, what a Frank hearing entails is that you're able to cross-examine. Um, um, your accusers, meaning government agents, meaning informants, and so on and so forth, just like a regular trial. So this was testified in court. <laughs> Period. Point blank. This was testified in court that I became a government informant to give Demetrius Flinty a time cut. That's what was said on the stand, bro. The lady became a government informant to give Demetrius Flinty a time cut. But I think people, but I think people will ask a question of this though. This is a, what I got hit with a lot is, all right, then if he did it to get a time cut, then how come he still did all that time in jail? Well, what they don't understand is that he never received the time cut because she, what what came out was that she had an illicit sexual relationship with Special Agent Keith Cromer. Special so Agent Keith Cromer. But her first DA handler was the guy, as you should know, Blue, who, who wrote the, the BMF indictment, Special right. Agent Jack Harvey. Special Agent Jack Harvey is the person that locked us all up, who's so also the person know. that locked up Terry White, which was her first case as a DEA agent. And then he retired. He retired after he got those 60 he years. Yeah, he retired, and then her handler became a brother by the name of Keith Cromer, Special Agent Keith Cromer, who was also fired behind this particular case. So Meech never received the time cut because unbeknownst to a lot of people, um, it's against the law to have a sexual relationship or any personal relationship with a government informant. Somehow, some way, because I don't know how, she met Special Agent Jack Harvey. You can leave that up to question. How did Big Meech's personal assistant slash the person that handles all this business slash the person that owns BMF Entertainment to this day since 2008. So now she meets Special Agent Jack Harvey and then she starts working for Special Agent Jack Harvey but not for the Meech case. It was for a whole nother case first. It was for Terry White. But once that case went well, okay, and once that went past and Terry White got his 30 years, Special Agent Jack Harvey retired. But now she from from that conspiracy, they indicted me on two murder charges. Subsequently, I pled guilty to two gun charges in exchange for them dropping the murder charges. Uh, he knows this, and everybody else knows this. Anything with Tammy uh, comes from him. Um, uh, not only that, what she testified in court uh, to. With, with uh, Special Agent uh, Keith Cromer, a uh, fire disgraced uh, uh, DEA agent Keith Cromer, who she was having a, uh illicit sexual relationship with, which killed their case, which killed his uh, his time cut. Mm -hmm. Go to jail for that, man. So when you... You know, so, uh, so Suarez? Type of person. Suarez, yeah. So he never knew him prior to going to jail? Yes. They met in the, they met in the county jail in Detroit. When, the, when Meach first got indicted, he was in the county jail in Detroit. The indictment is out of Detroit. So Fidel beat his case and vowed to help Meach out. They met in the county. They uh, befriended one another in the county. And Fidel uh, was reaching out to Tammy just to keep up with Meach. 
unbeknown to him that Tammy and, and Meach was uh, was trying to set him up. When, well, he didn't have no interest in, in, in nothing, none of the stuff that she was trying to do. He just wanted to make sure, hey, man, well, how's my man doing? How much money he need for an appeal? I mean, just a, a good dude. So he wasn't, All along, so they it wasn't like the him feds up. set him up. They were in the county jail? Yeah. No, 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 no. Fidel, no. Fidel, Fidel, um, <clears throat> Fidel and one and, and two or three other Mexicans got caught with 97 kilos of uh, cocaine at a truck stop. Hmm. Beat it in trial while they was in the county jail with Meach in 2005 or 2006. They beat, they beat the case in trial. Well, he exchanged information with Meach and vowed to help him out. And that's all he was doing. And so how... Uh, for Fidel? Yeah. Fidel's a known uh, cartel member. Yes, they know who Fidel is. Okay, understood. And so what's his status now? Did he beat his case? Is he is he all right or did he get... Yeah, he's all right, yeah. So they, was, they, was, so they so the other play was for them to mess me around so that I can turn into a, a, a rat or a dirty bastard and, and, and bring him in. What so, the Meech and Tammy did is called it because you're not in the system. Thank God you're not. I, like, I hate to see brothers in this system. But brothers who are familiar with this system, it's a nasty, nasty system. What Meech and Tammy did was called a third-party cooperation. What happened was... This call is from a federal prison. Originally, I was put with Tammy. I paid for the script. I put out. I, I paid a quarter million dollars. That's my script. That's why Fifty, when he came in, because we we put a, a assistant deceased order in through my attorney. That's why they couldn't do a motion picture. That's why you didn't see the BMF story on the on the big screen. So Fifty ran it through that star shit that he ran that other corny shit he, that he do. So what happened was, homie, was I wasn't even the original target. They wanted to get a little Mexican. He's actually a cartel member out of L.A. named Suarez. You'll see his name in the paperwork, Fidel Suarez. He was right. He was their initial target. But with me calling in while they were trying to set up Fidel Suarez, she clicked over and told the Fed or the agents who was listening to her and Suarez, hold on, this is Cuff. And when they heard the name Cuff, they w went fucking crazy. And that's when, when, when her and Meach turned the scheme toward me. You feel me? So what it did, what it did was, it, this was what it was supposed to do. It was supposed to give Meach a time cut for her cooperation and set me up. But also, it kills two birds with one stone. It puts me in jail, and now they don't have to split any of the revenue with me. My buddy and my partner along with me was named, his name is Louis Burrell. That's MC Hammer's big brother. That's who Ted... That, that, that was me. That, and that was in the budget. You understand what I'm saying? For a finder's fee. So what ended up happening was we didn't know that they had other plans and that she was sleeping with the feds and that and and and, and that they would put me off in prison and run away with my script and don't have to give me anything. So it, it, it was supposed to give me a time cut and knock me out of my percentage, me and Louis Burrell out of our percentage for the finest fee with Louis with, with Lionsgate's film. Well, Lionsgate when Louis went so so they backed orders. Lionsgate. It shot it down when Louis Burrell was no, no longer a part of it. You feel me? Right. So, Tammy's whole thing fell apart. Meach couldn't get a time cut because they found out Tammy has no, she has no credibility. Because when you can't have a relationship with a federal agent, now you have no credibility. So they thing blew up. They things fell all the way apart and blew up. That's why Meach didn't get a, get a time cut. But Tammy testified in open court that she signed up to be a DA informant to give Demetrius Flannery a time cut. This call is from a federal... Keith Cromer testified that Demetrius Flannery knew about this whole thing, but he just wanted to keep his name out of the, out of the documents. The special agent told Flannery that, that, that he could not do that he can only do that if Cuff don't go to trial. And with Cuff's record, he can't afford to go to trial. You understand what I'm saying? Correct. But in the midst of all of this, she ends up flipping on uh, on the special agent Keith Cromer, and the whole deal went in the trash. So that's why we're at the point to where we're at now. 1990, homie. 1990, homie. 1990. My, 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 my beautiful daughter that you that you talk with, my son, and my other daughter, they look at this nigga, call this nigga uncle, homie. Now, from my understanding, you guys reached out to him 
when the paperwork came down, she said that you knew who the CI was and you told her in your in her in her mom and you guys sent a message to Meech. What was his response? When I was when I got locked up, homie, and and and, and when I seen where this whole conspiracy was coming from, I laughed at it and I didn't believe in it. And I knew that Meech could come forward and kill the whole conspiracy. Just saying that, that the conspiracy is based on Meech communicating from Tammy, sending me a truckload of drugs. It's all made up from jail, homie. He could have killed this whole deal. They never had any drugs. You understand what I'm saying? But that's how conspiracy works in this system, in this nasty system. But when Meech shot down the offer, uh, when my uh, we sent my attorneys out, he was at F, uh, uh, FCI Lumpock in California. And he responded back to my attorneys that he didn't want to have nothing to do with nothing. And he didn't, and, and he stopped communicating with them. So then that told my attorneys right there that Demetrius Flannery is a part of this whole deal. And I couldn't believe it. You feel me? Hmm. They panicked and they indicted me on two homicides based on my co-defendant uh, 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 statements. So I had to plead. I had to plead to 27 years. How long you been in this so, stuff? Since 2013. So, so what ended up happening was uh, I pled to the conspiracy with uh, with Tammy Cowens, uh, and there was 10, 10 years for that, which I finished. Uh, and now I'm serving the 17 years. So this is what happened. Instead of me pleading to the murders, they let me plead to an invisible gun, homie. Hmm. And at the time, I didn't, I didn't know the significance of it because 27 years is 27 years. I didn't, I didn't know any better. But my attorney told me that they fucked up. You don't have a gun. You never had a gun. They don't even allude to you having a gun, and they let you plead. All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all think that Big Meech is gonna respond? I'm sure Big Meech is gonna respond to the accusations being made against him. You know, and also I believe Big Meech is also going to respond to WAC 100. They probably going to link up, you know, but who knows because WAC pretty much went hard on Big Meech. So Big Meech has yet to respond to any of these allegations. As of now, he just came home. I'm sure he's going to respond in some kind of way because, you know, a lot of times when people come home from the federal prison, it's not always because they snitched that they was released early. It could be for health reasons or it could just be the fact that you know, your time is almost up and they just let you go. But in this case, a lot of people, including the same dude who was Big Meech's Cody, feels like Big Meech actually testified and he's not all the way innocent from that. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Peace.